Holy shit. It's Billy Kimber. Is there any man here named Shelby? I said, is there any man here named Shelby? How to get these men a drink? Everyone else go home. Let's go on. I've never approved of women in pumps, but when they look like that. He says you wanted men called Shelby. You've got three of them. Oh, I never heard of you. And then I did hear of you, some little Diddy Kai Razor gang. I thought to myself, so what? But then you fucked me over. So now you have my undivided attention. By the way, which one am I talking to? Who's the boss? Well, I'm the oldest. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Are you laughing at my brother? Right, he's the oldest, you're the thickest. I'm told the boss is called Tommy, and I'm guessing that's you, cos you're looking me up and down like I'm a fucking tart. I want to know what you want. There were suspicious betting patterns at Kempton Park, a horse called Monaghan Boy. He won by length twice and then finished last with £3,000 bet on him. Which one am I talking to? Which one of you is the boss? I'm Mr Kimber's advisor and accountant. And I'm the fucking boss, OK? Right, end of parlay. You fixed the race without my permission. You fucking gypsy scum. What live off the war pensions of these poor old Garrison Lane widows? That's your level. I am Billy Kimber. I run the races and you fixed one of them, so I'm going to have you shot against the post. Mr. Kimber. Look at it. That is my name in it. It's from the Lee family. You were also at war with the Lees, Mr. Kimber, am I right? The Lees are attacking your bookies and taking your money. Your men can't control them. You need help. Perhaps we should listen to what Mr Shelby has to say before we make our decisions. Right, the Lees are doing a lot of talking at the fairs. They have a lot of kin. They are saying the racetracks are easy meets because the police are busy with strikes. Now, we have connections. We know how they operate. You have muscle. Together we can beat them. Divided, maybe not. Mr Kimber, Perhaps we should take some time for reflection, possibly make arrangements for a second meeting. I admire you, Mr. Kimber. You started with nothing and built a legitimate business. It would be an honor to work with you, Mr. Kimber. Nobody works with me. People work for me. Pick it up, Pikey. Sit. Sit down. It's for your ceiling. Thank you, Mr Kimber. We will be at Cheltenham. As will I. Well, you're in your living.